All right, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is Bullet RC coming at you guys again with another weekly sneaker rotation. Now, before we get into this, I wanna go ahead and give a big shout out to my guys over at All Might for the hat, as well as a shirt I'm gonna be getting in soon. Always got to support some of the brands on the 757s that I do like. So shout out to my man over there at All Might. This is Darius and Sebastian. Shout out to you guys. Anyways, another thing I wanted to say is that if you guys did get on that pre-order of the Sample Industry Savage Bomber, 40 of them were shipped out on Saturday and the rest Tony will be shipping out between tomorrow, which is Monday, and Tuesday. We were waiting for some of the new stuff to come in as well. So with the new product, we got some of the pre-orders or most of the pre-orders. So in addition to the pre-orders, there will be new product, which is detailing. I guess I can give you guys details, which is two shirts, a hat, and a jacket. So if you guys want more information on that, just to keep up to date with the brand, Sample Industries, we, guys, we would appreciate you guys if you went ahead and followed at Sample IND. Now, I will leave all that down below, even some clothing sites, all that info is always down in the description box, jeans, pants, so always check it, and the songs. So let's go ahead and hop into Monday. All right, y'all, so starting off for Monday, I wanna go ahead and give a big shout out to the people over at Finish Line for gifting me these a while back, and this is the Scream Green Hirachi, and if I can find this anywhere, I will try to leave a link down below, but if, you, if I can't, just Google Scream Green Hirachi, and you guys can see it. Basically, of course, the classic silhouette of the screen green, I believe, or the Hirachi, and I believe this is actually a um, OG colorway of the Hirachi, or Warachi, but that's hard to say. Um, that's how you're supposed to say it, but I just say Hirachi. Um, but I think it's a dope shoe, and always, as I said before, if you guys are looking into Hirachis, definitely size either a half size up or a whole size up because this is a 12 and they're super tight on my left foot. My left foot is a little bit bigger than my right foot, but either way, do not go true to size in Hirachis. I repeat, do not go true to size in Hirachis. Hirachi lows, they will destroy your feet. So what you wanna do is go at least a half to a full size up if possible. Trust me, if you go and try them on, you will know what I'm talking about. But anyways, that is the Scream Green Hirachi. Mine is a size 12, unfortunately. There's no 12 and a half. So let's go ahead and get into Tuesday. All right, guys, so for Tuesday, we have the Saucony Grid Games. Of course, this is the more blue pair, so Saucony Grid as the premium. Um, I call these the Mega Mans just because of different blues um, and the gray. Definitely reminds me of the Mega Man theme. So these are the Mega Man Grid SDs or Grid Games. Um, like I said, man, and like I said in the unboxing, Materials are superb, the suede and as well as the leather on the side is great. And these are comfortable in my opinion. Now, with these, I said you should go true to size. So most Saucony's that I deal with, um, anything I've gotten, I definitely say go true to size. So my true size is about a 12. So in these, I stuck with a 12. And they definitely are comfortable. No real complaints for me. I've actually worn these already about three or four times. Um, and actually today, for Sunday, you're gonna guys are gonna see the other pair, but these have already got a good bit of wear on them. I'm gonna definitely say they are comfortable, and the navy on this, man, that navy suede and the navy leather is definitely a good look. So anyways, we're done with Tuesday. Let's go ahead and hop into Wednesday. All right, guys, so for Wednesday, I'm gonna pull a shoe that some of you probably don't even know I own, um, and it's just kind of a, an archive shoe because I really don't wear it that much. You guys just seen it. Of course, it is the Yeezy Foam Posit, and I want to give a big shout to my man Rob Dalla, aka Dollars the God, because he is the one that helped me secure these. He got them at a local mall, hit me up, said I know you want them, and hit me up with that retail scoop. So the retail oop was definitely needed with these. Um, I've contemplated selling these just because I don't wear them that much, but it's one of those foams where it's an all black. And it's the closest thing to a Yeezy that I basically own, except for my Nike ID. So I said I'm going to go ahead and keep them. I mean, the glow in the dark outsole is nice. And um, just the way I came up on them, um, just someone being generous enough to um, oop me for them for uh, retail. Now, you can get them basically close to retail now from 250 to 300 um, which is hefty. But, uh, man, I dropped it. It's one of the probably one of the the mini foams that I did cop before um, I really don't cop foams anymore people ask me do I even wear foams yes I do but I only own two pairs and that is these 
and the Supreme Foams. I used to have the Pine Greens, the Electric Blues, the Metallic Reds, and I think one other colorway. So I'm definitely looking for those metallic kind of pine greenish looking ones that are supposed to release. I'll probably grab those. But anyways, that is the Yeezy Foam Posit. Foam Posits go up half a size. Um, trust me, you'll definitely not regret it if you go up a half size. True to size to me runs just a bit too snug and that's what these are, 12. But like I said, man, 12 and a half is basically here nor there. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into Thursday. Alright guys, so next up is basically my regular shoe when I was up in Longwood, um, as well as I've basically been wearing these a lot, just to run around in. Um, it's a good shoe because it's a comfy shoe, but it's also got the style aesthetic to it. And of course, that is these right here, the Multicolor Flyknit Roshi ID, or Roshi 1. I, they changed it from Roshi Run to Roshi 1 because... I mean, it's not really a running shoe. It never was in the beginning, but people were like, yo, it's Roshi 1 now, not Roshi Run. It's the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Uh, <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes. But as you guys can see, I think it's definitely worth it. If it's still available, I will leave a link down below. Um, this one did take it a while, a bit, basically about a month um, to get to me, about three to four weeks um, to get to me for these. But it's definitely worth the wait because it is multicolor. You guys know how I am about flying it. With the Niroshis, I say stay true to size. Um, I wouldn't go up or go down. I feel if you go down, they'd be a little bit too tight and your toes be bulging just because of the way the material is. And if you go up, it's just they're just gonna be floating on you. are just gonna be floating around your foot like boats. But that is my Flyknit Roshi Multicolor ID. And that was basically been my cozy shoe. Nike Tech fleece pants. You know, I have even wore these with the Adidas Tyro pants or T-Row pants. I mean, whatever. Sue me. I mean, Adidas with Nike. It doesn't really matter. People just, people take some of this stuff just way too seriously. Anyways, that was Thursday. So let's go ahead and head into Friday. All right, and next up, another shoe that was worn frequently in Longwood. That is the Ronnie Feig and Puma Sakura, which is Sakura. I'm saying it how you should properly say it, Sakura, because in Japanese, the R's are pronounced as um, L's. Once again, I took Japanese for three years and I barely, barely remember any of it. So there you go. Um, this shoe to me is definitely clean and is another shoe that I was wearing a lot and long with, like I said before. Uh, I switched out these for the, the blue flat laces with the 3M for these purple, and like or not purple, but more of a burgundy and blue, um, and as well as the rose gold aglets on the ends on the tips. Those are really nice. Um, I mean, there's not much else I need to say about this shoe, guys. You guys already know how I feel about it. Just a combination of materials, the gradient on the outsole. Um, it's just a good look. And these are really, in my opinion, these things are super comfortable because on the inside, they actually do have a quilted insole it's hard to see here but if you search ronnie feig puma r698 sakura or tokyo some type of collab the insole it actually does have a cool to insole so to me these shoes are definitely very comfortable and they also have a luxe feel to them just with those those rose gold aglets definitely just give it a little bit more of a pop but that was my pick for friday so let's go ahead into yesterday which was saturday Okay, so for Saturday, we're going to completely switch it up for you guys. Um, this is something definitely different. I've shown it a long time ago. Um, these are the Clarks Wallaby Run. Um, and it's probably one of my favorite Clarks shoes. You guys know I am a Clarks fan. The Desert Boots and the Wallabies. Um, and in there, I think there's another one called like the Kilroy model. But um, this is a basically a low Wallaby with a thinner sole. And I think this is a good look for casual. A lot of people are probably looking at this video like, yo, what are you talking about? But um, like, why, why are you not showing like a, like, a, like a shoe shoe? Like this is my casual shoe. Uh, but I think it's important to kind of branch out and show you guys that I'm not just a um, Nike and Jordan and Asics and stuff like that. I do kind of dip into the casual side, the more grown up side of things from time to time. Um, like I said, man, I got these a long time ago from Karma Loop. Uh, people were asking me my opinion, my opinion on Karma Loop, man, they went down and they owed me some money. Like, if you guys have seen, um, I hadn't posted any Karma Loop videos since probably like January, and that's because I was seeing that people weren't getting their orders. Uh, people were saying that 
you know, their their orders weren't shipping, they had paid like a long time ago, this, this, and that, and they were just having problems. And I didn't want to make any videos talking about Karma Loop if Karma Loop wasn't in working order. But anyways, Clark's Wallaby Run, let's go ahead and get into Sunday. Alright guys, so next up and last up for Sunday because it is getting crazy hot in my room is once again like I was mentioning earlier for Monday, um, this is the Saucony Grid SD Grid Games. But this one is more of a, I call it the Miami Vice um, looking one. Of course you got your teals, your pinks, your whites, your black. Definitely reminds me of Miami, Miami Vice. So this one I'm going to crown or dub the Miami Vice Grid SD. Um, Basically, following the same pattern as the other one, not too much else for me to say. Go true to size. It's definitely a comfortable kick. I have tried them both on and walked around a bit. And like I said, this will be my kick for today. So I'm probably going to throw on like one of my older um, Billionaire Boys Club t-shirts because it definitely falls right under that black. Like the colors match basically perfectly. But um, yeah, man, that was my pick for Sunday. All right, guys, so that is it for this week's sneaker rotation. Now, like I said before, if you guys need to stay up to date with our brand, that is me and Tony's brand, Sample Industries, guys, go follow at Sample IND. I will leave that link down below. As well as the people that were on that pre-order list, your jacket should be either shipped out or shipped out soon. So there you go. Also, you guys can follow me at BulletRC. That's on Twitter, Tumblr, here, there, blase, blah at bullet rc um and that's about it guys you guys can leave a link down below or you guys can leave a comment down below whatever your favorite shoe from this week's sneaker rotation was but i gotta go i gotta get out of here and i will be making a video on my car soon that i'm working on it it's, it's gonna be a thing i recorded part of it yesterday and part of it's gonna be done today so anyways you guys be easy peace I should have been